might be spoopy. It might, uh, it might not be spooky. I'm interested. I hear it's got a great story, so we'll jump jump right in. And the Fulbright Company, Midnight City. Press A to start. Okay, let's go options. Graphics, brightness, field of view. Display subtitles. Show training messages, disable interaction texts, hide reticle. All right. New game. Walk using. Look around using. I, I guess you can play this game with commentary as well, which would be really neat. If you play through it once and you're a really big fan. I like games that do that. I think Firewatch just added a commentary track recently. I think we're going to play through that on the channel as well soon. That'll be fun. It'll be fun. It's a bit of a load. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got right my ticket home it. from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Cool. Going home. Gone home. We've gone home. Home has been gotten. June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. There's all my shit. Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland, June 6th. This is like the front porch area. Grab soda can. Well, the lighting is weird. Fuck that soda can. Fits right, ginger ale. All right. Some light. Oh, Christmas lights. And a duck. Oh, there's a key. I probably shouldn't have explored. I probably should have found them. Read the note first. Oh, and sweet passport photo. Boarding pass, house key. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it's impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. Alright. Close that. Let's turn some lights on so I don't have to sit in the darkness. Oh, 
Regional track and field. Girls long jump event. Nice. Hundred meter relay. Nice. Hecho Mexico. Okay, do I have to bring all my stuff in or what? Oh my god, that's loud. I wonder how... Is, is my voice volume and the game volume okay? Uh, testing. This is a telephone. This is an answering machine. Oh, read note. Sam. back outside where it's can you hear the rain? Okay. It's just a quiet game right now. Okay. Cool. Thank you all. I love you. Okay, so Alright, I was reading the note. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. We've all been there. Okay, I'm definitely going to turn off the reticle, I think. Nope, not that one. Open folder. Oh, an invoice. Oh, it's a movers. 2750 bucks to move? Oh, all the boxes in the library were overweight. Dear Katie. Oh. So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. Uh oh. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Nice. Is that it? At the new house added to backpack. What does that mean? Oh, journal entries. Okay, cool. The sound effects so loud. Author magazine, Stephen King. Toilet paper. Cleansing powder. Oh, band aids. There's no mirror in this bathroom? That's weird. Okay, I think I'm going to turn the sound effects down. Sound. Wait, the sound effects includes the rain? That's weird. I should have ambient and sound effects as two different items. This is creepy. Sam, Katie, Mom, and Dad. Okay, let's go in this door. Press it. Oh, check your location in the house. 
Okay, neat. Oh, Jesus. Like, I know it's supposed to be lightning or thunder, but sometimes it sounds like a monster. What the fuck is that? It's like a radio playing or something. Welcome, new student. We hope you have are excited for your first day at Goodfellow High School, as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. Oh, didn't check off a positive attitude. Brought everything else, though. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. God, I don't miss going to school. Oh, my God. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. The Psycho Great. House Girl? Paris. Hi, Mom and Dad and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit du Jouvon and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. Nice. Oh, so many things. Pack of cards. Obituary. Oscar Doc. Boone County died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 833 in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He obtained his degree. Wait, is that this home? Uh-oh. We got ghosts. everything oh jeez that's so creepy Is there anyone in that blanket fort? Hello? Oh, nope. Hauntings and poltergeists. A dogwood paper bag. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Dr. Jitters. Turn that the fuck off. So that's creepy as hell. Sam thought this might help dad. Making friends. Harsh. Harsh dad. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them and you have to get to know them. Yes. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. So I went home and I meticulously practiced my combos. Bratmobile. Nice. I'm just assuming that 
I'm supposed to just be fucking reading everything. Oh, the X-Files. Friday at 9 p.m. I'll put those coasters out. to find a VHS player. Well, that's not creepy. The Heaven at the Edge of the World, Samantha Greenbrier, Grade 2, Story, The Turtle People, Part 1. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever. It's a black pirate ship, she yelled. I thought we lost them at Horse Island. Oh, cute. Okay, nothing behind the door. Nothing in there. Andromeda strain. Time machine, fantastic voyage. Ghostbusters! Oh, and labyrinth. Good double feature. Solid. Terry, hey man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work. Nice. It's that book that Dad wrote. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? Oh man, cool. Big shot author, dad. Oh, a tape player. Why is that sound coming from such a little machine? Okay, so the tape player is in the TV room. I gotta remember that. I have a feeling we're gonna find some more tapes. Bunch of coupons. United States Department of Agriculture. I think that's where the mom worked. Or works. Oh boy. Oh, sweet room. Oh, look at all the records. And a bar. All the copies of the book Dad wrote. More records. Oh. oh, he wrote a follow up to it? Nice. There's a note. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood. Oh, that creepy guy S Danny actually came over. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. Yep. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. <laughs> Maybe I'll give him a call. Again, you gotta brush up on that Street Fighter to impress the girl.
Write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to pu publish your follow-up. We went ahead with John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first. And so our stewardship of the series must end here. Aw. Dad had two good books. I like all these records though. But I can't interact with any of them. Somehow I always knew that some guy Ooh. Ah, uh, CPU has a coin. We're using an HD Elgato. Uh, I don't. I think I have the 1080i one. Can't quite remember. It's not. It's definitely not the best one available. Who keeps two highlighters? Please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing, Sam. Lol. Hi Lonnie, so if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home so that hopefully that's fine. I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. Huh? <laughs> At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but... All that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. Oh no. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Lonnie. Oh, I haven't been in here yet. It's real dark. Oh, this must be the study. Okay, creaking wall. Stop being so creepy. Boone County Telephone Directory. That's a loud fan. And turn that off. Electrical inspection form. Oh boy. I'm sure this place isn't up to code. This is the crazy house after all. Nothing down there. Oh, what's this? What is this? The killing of JFK, a theory. Eh. Oh, combo. You can do better. <laughs> uh huh. Technical documentation, I guess, to pay the bills. Or Wait, why can't I read that? Oh, it's just a signature notepad. False bottom. August 10th night. I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married and 
to a wonderful young woman, I've had more than a little time to consider my past and my family, and my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the ten years since the last we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. Oh, Oscar. Interesting. Put that shit back. Uh, thanks for hanging out, CPU. You have a good one. My capture card is a bit grayed. I have the HD suite. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember which one I have. It's behind my TV here, otherwise I'd check it out. Crumpled piece of paper, John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. The stars, twinkling as if they were li he was lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Uh, okay, so Dad had a weird friend. Relationship. Oh my god, this dream library. I love it. I keep getting the feeling that someone's like looking at me. Sarah Holst, Fresh Magazine. I'm just going to turn on all the lights so that I know where I've been and what I've looked at. A stranger under my roof. Well. There's a large gap behind that bookshelf. 0451. To Terrence, David asked me to write you in regards to the reviews you've been submitting in the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth. From an editing standpoint, there's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. We're all looking at you, Erp. <laughs> Thanks. And maybe that's the code for 0451. Maybe that's the code for the filing cabinet in his study. In Papa's study. Papa. Uh, oh, four, five, one. Nice. Please find and close your original document and typed copy for our records. The notarized copy has been filed with our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Oscar Masson, possession, possessing full competence of mind and memory and after survey of value, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. Oh. Well, that's the same guy that wrote that letter. The other letter. The one in his false bottom drawer. False bottom drawers. What am I thinking of? Fat bottom girls? Is that a thing? That's a thing. Okay. Oh, the basement door is locked. Okay, we're done this wing of the house for now. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk 
you.